how many times have you heard some music come on and you or a friend says, oh, classical music? The term classical has come to act as a placeholder for a large body of music, music that isn't pop and typically features strings, brass, woodwinds, voice, and percussion. But calling all of this music classical oversimplifies a distinction between musical eras that aren't really that hard to distinguish if you know what to listen for. What's the difference then between Baroque and classical music? One easy distinction lies with musical phrases. In the Baroque, phrases tend to go on and on and on. This was in line with the doctrine of the affections, a sentiment of the time that valued ornate and flowery writing that would produce a specific emotional response in the listener. This often manifests as phrases that continually spin out for a long time and cadences, musical resting points that define the ends of phrases, are seemingly in short supply. The classical era, in contrast, valued symmetry and balance. This is best illustrated by a regular and consistent phrase structure. Four measures of music, cadence. Four more measures, cadence, and so on. Those moments of spinning out are still there, but they are less common. The symmetry of the phrase reigns supreme. Baroque music tends to feature longer, more flowery phrases, while classical music privileges shorter, more regular phrases. So the next time you hear that classical piece being played, listen to the phrasing. <laughs>